Hi there, everybody. Welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Okay, so we're going to get into some of the NFL for October 30th. Before I do, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to this uh, section right here that has every tool that will help you make your pick. So we're going to go down and take a look at some of these uh, games here. And there's a lot of charts here that we want to take a look at. So I will explain these to you as we go along. Okay, so we've got Arizona and Minnesota. So you see here the odds right now for this game. 1.55 for Minnesota to 2.42 for Arizona. That translates to a line of 3.5 point favor for Minnesota. And you see the over-under is at 49.5. And you can also see that we have up here the 83% uh, or excuse me, 63% chance for Minnesota cut out on top compared to 37 for uh, Arizona. Uh, burning hot status right now for the Vikings. You can see that they have won four out of their last five, and they're five and one on the season. While Arizona is at average status, you can see they are three and three on the season, and they are one and two over their last three. If you look at the score prediction, looks like all Minnesota 40 to 17. The confidence in prediction here is very high, also at 79%. If we take a look here at the power ranks indicator, which we always like to do. You can see that Minnesota was at zero, uh, two, excuse me, that was a month ago, and they have been climbing up here all up to plus 26, while Arizona has taken a dip from plus 21 down to plus 11. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator chart, which shows the stability factor, you can see Minnesota very stable at plus six. Actually, you can't get more stable than that, right? Plus six after six games. And Arizona is at plus three. So both teams pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Okay, let's take a look at the change in the money line. If you look at the chart here, the movement of the line, it started at 1.4, uh, 1.37. And you see there's been some movement up and down. And now it has leveled off at 1.549 in favor of the Vikings. So in the end, I do believe that this is a Vikings game to win and cover in a game going over the line. Okay, so the next one we want to look at here as we go down through the list, it's a full slate of games with a few teams on a bye week. We're going to take a look at four of the games. The next game we want to look at as we continue to move down the list is, let's see, here we go, New England and the New York Jets. This has been a surprise for the Jets to be, you know, as good as they've been, really. They've won their last four. They're burning hot. They're five and one on the season. And the Patriots, you can see, are average down. They are coming off of a loss, and they are 3-3 three and three on the season. A bit of a surprise that New England is a road favorite, 1.73 to 2.1 odds. Not a huge favorite, but they are a 1.5 point favorite um, with the over-under set at 40.5. And you can see here with the uh, percent chance of winning 51-49 to 49 for New England, which are very tight. And if you look here at the score prediction, the score prediction goes the other way. Uh, Jets 28, New England 24, but the confidence in prediction is under 50%, so take a look at that as you go along. Um, if you look at the over-under, you can see over in four out of the last six games for New England, which is all the games this season, and over in three of the six games for the Jets, but under in the last two. Okay, if you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see here both teams on the upward trend. The Jets were at plus 14. They have climbed to plus 27. Uh, New England was at plus five. They have increased that to plus 20 over just the last two weeks. And if we take a look at the volatility oscillator, let's see the two teams have been stable. Uh, New England pretty stable, although they were at plus four and now they're at plus two. So the last couple of weeks they have not performed with regard to their favorite underdog stats. And the Jets haven't at all. They were at plus one and they are down to minus two. That's probably because they're doing much better than people have anticipated and thus not performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. Okay, let's look at the money line here. New England was at 1.8 as it opened. You can see there's some movement in both directions, up and down, up and down, and has leveled off now at 1.73, which is pretty close to where it started at. So in the end, I do like the Patriots to find a way to win this one on a road, and I like that one in a game over the line. Okay, we've got Vegas and... The Saints, we're not looking at that one. Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. Uh, let's see. Tennessee, Houston. 
Next one we want to look at as we continue to go down the list of games. San Francisco and the Rams. This is a classic NFC West battle. You can see the odds here even. 1.9 to 1.9. It's going to be tight, right? Uh, 49ers average down. They are 3-3 three and three on the season. But you can see they have lost their last two. And the last one was a blowout against the Chiefs. And you can see that the Rams are average status. They're coming off of a win after two straight losses. And they are 3-3. Three and three. The odds are in favor of San Francisco slightly at 1.5 point favorite with an over under 43.5. You can see that the 56% chance for the 49ers to win compared to 44 for the Rams. The score prediction has it the other way with the Rams winning 19 to 14, a very low scoring game with a confidence in prediction of 82%. This is a high confidence in prediction. Um, the power ranking indicator chart, you can see the Rams dipping from plus 30 all the way down to plus 8. And the 49ers have dropped also over the last week and a half from 23 down to, or 23, yeah, 23 down to 14. Okay, volatility, the stability factor again, this is kind of important to look at. You can see 0 for the 49ers and 2 for the Rams. You can see they were both at uh, 1 just a couple weeks ago. You can see the opposite directions there on the chart. Uh, take a look at the money line again at minus 2.1 to open for the 49ers. You can see now it is at 1.9, so they're not. Um, we well, can see how it's moved. It moved up to how, how far did it go up to. It went up to about 1.73, and now it has leveled off at 1.9. So, what do we think is going to happen here? I think this is going to be the Rams tight game. I mean, tight game, we're going to field goal type of game. And a low scoring game. So let's go with the Rams under. Okay, the last thing we want to look at here is um, Green Bay and Buffalo. So, I mean, this one looks like all Buffalo, right? If you look at this burning hot for Buffalo, average down for the Packers. The Packers have lost their last three. The Bills have won their last three. The Audra 1.21 to 4.26 in favor of Buffalo. That's a huge line of 10.5 points. And the over under sitting at 47.5. Now, here's the thing you want to look at. If you see here, the um, okay, I don't know what happened there, so let's get this back to where it was. Got a little glitch here. Okay, there we go. So, what we want to look at here now is okay, bear with me. Got to go back down to the game. I don't know what happened. There we go. Okay, now we see it's just 84% for Buffalo and 16% chance of winning for Green Bay. The score prediction is 46. 16 Buffalo, 72 or 22 percent level of confidence. Uh, yeah, um, 30 point win for Buffalo. I'm not really seeing that the confidence prediction here is very low. Um, let's look at the power ranking indicator. In the power ranking indicator, you see Buffalo is now at plus 29, and Green Bay has dipped from 29 to 16. Again, it's a clear favor for Buffalo. Don't get me wrong here, but I don't think it's going to be a 30 point contest. You can see that Buffalo has been very stable at plus four, while Green Bay has not at minus one because they have been favored and they have been losing. So that's why they're on the downward trend there. So in the end, I do like Buffalo to win outright. It would not surprise me to see Green Bay cover. I mean, it could be a 10-point game. Green Bay would cover if it's 10. It will be a high-scoring game, so bet over the line. Okay, there you have it. Those are all the games for NFL for this week. Uh, happy betting. We will see you next.